Georgia Republicans are absolutely furious at Herschel Walker, their one time Senate candidate. He came this close because apparently he's hoarding millions of dollars that have been donated to his campaign and then were never used. He says that's not what's happening, but everybody looking into the numbers sure seems to think it is. And wait until you hear how Herschel Walker responds to requests that he give up or spend some of that money. We'll get to that in a sec, but first the criticism. Bear in mind, people estimate that there could be as much as $4 million in leftover campaign funds, which maybe he should have spent those. If he had, maybe he'd be a senator right now. But um, one strategist said, Republicans are being outspent everywhere, up and down the ballot, and there's a significant sum of resources just sitting there. It could be supporting Trump, who did a ton for Herschel's campaign. I, maybe he did, it, it wasn't enough. Clearly, the dude lost, but it could be spent. I'm sure there's congressional candidates that could really use that money. Now, interestingly, ever since Herschel Walker lost, have you noticed that you haven't noticed him? He's kind of just been gone. He wanted to be a senator. And then nothing after that, I find that fascinating. He apparently re-enrolled at the University of Georgia to finish his undergraduate degree. That's where he got a Heisman Trophy as a junior decades ago. Which look, I actually think that's admirable that he wants to finish his degree. So when he was reached by phone, he denied the seven figure bank balance of unspent funds saying it wasn't money left in my account. Everyone keeps saying that, asked to clarify what he meant. He quickly ended the call saying he was in the middle of writing a paper. He said, we could talk about it sometime, but then did not respond to multiple further inquiries, inquiries, including more recently last week. And that is just the best response. Anytime someone asks me a question, I don't wanna answer. I'm just gonna say I'm in the middle of an essay. I'll talk to you next week and then I'll never talk to them again. That is not only a great way to end the conversation, it is so Herschel Walker to do that. But interestingly, the, there's a plot twist to this. He has actually given some of that money away. He just hasn't given it to candidates or the Republican Party. And maybe some of what he's given away is actually admirable. So his campaign committee donated about $410,000, mostly to nonprofits like the Horatio Alger Association, the Boys and Girls Club, and Herschel's 34 and Johnson City class of 1980, a nonprofit that's been registered since 2016 in his hometown. He also, by the way, gave $100,000 to Polaris Action Incorporated, a national security focused group that was founded by Morgan Ortagas, a former Trump administration State Department official who stumped for Walker on the campaign trail. Look, some of that I think is admirable. If you wanna give money to the Boys and Girls Club or whatever, more power to you. But it is a little bit weird that like you do all of these appeals for the money and you tell people, we need this to win, you gotta give it to me so we win. And then you don't spend it either because of mismanagement or because you know you're gonna lose anyway. And then you use it to like make yourself a philanthropist. Like sure, it's good that you're giving to the Boys and Girls Club, but that's not what it was donated for. And when you give a cool $100,000 to some dude that worked in the State Department under Trump, Nobody signed on to that, $100,000 is a lot of donations. The grandma that gave Herschel Walker 25 bucks, I'm sure did not expect that it would be a tiny fraction of what they just hand as free money to some Trump goon. Again, Herschel Walker is apparently in legal terms under no obligation to spend this money or to give it back. And it could be that he's holding on to some of it because maybe he plans to run for office again. Maybe he's gonna run for the house or something. But it does seem weird to use it in this particular way and to benefit certain individuals that I don't think a single one of your supporters knew anything about. Thanks for watching our video. Did you know that you can support our show by becoming a subscriber? Just click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications when we're live or when we post new content.